Pamela Zimmer here, your self-care concierge. I help you take care of all of your self-care needs so that you can do what you were put on the planet to do. Hello. Uh, and I'm here with the fabulous Dr. Erin. And I'm gonna be interviewing some of my clients and I would love for you to join us, to find yourself in their stories, um, just, take little bits and pieces of the things that we talk about and uh, apply them to your life. So if you're here, um, just let us know you're here, say hello, give a little wave, pop a little smile or a heart in the comments so that you know we can fill ourselves up too. And we're gonna be talking about, of course, self-care because that's my expertise. And we're gonna be talking today with Dr. Erin who is a very successful businesswoman and Thank entrepreneur. You. Yes, you darlings. Can you ever be too successful for needing self-care? Right? Look at all these people watching. Yeah. Let us know that you're watching and Yay. say hello. Hi. Yes. Hi, everyone. We've got our little selfie light in front of us. Yeah. So. I feel like a movie star today. But because... the white light behind us, the white wall is yeah. lame. So we're, we'll, whatever. Yeah, maybe we can, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Throw a pillow. Put a pillow or something. Put a pillow behind it. Pillow. How yeah. are you guys? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's any better. <laughs> hey, Crystal, I'm oh, Happy Wednesday. Yes, thank you for the thumbs up. Yes. Um, so I want to ask you, Dr. Aaron, you are a high-performance business coach. You're a psychologist. You work with a lot of people, and you are constantly giving and giving and giving and pouring into others. How do you do it all? You know, a lot of people have asked me that in my career and, and even before I was a coach and I was a psychologist, I still am a psychologist, but people would ask me like, don't, doesn't it just drain you and don't you just get tapped out? And you know, my working with you, Pamela, has really helped me realize that I think the reason I haven't burned out is because I have tried throughout my life to really take care of myself. And I also believe when you do what you love, you know, you're going to reduce your level of burnout, right? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I was watching mm -hmm. um, Super Soul Sunday with Oprah, one of our favorites, and Yanla Van Sant was on, I think that's how you say it, and she said the most profound thing for me. She said, what's in your cup is yours, and what comes out of the cup is for others. Wow. And so you teach people how to fill your cup with self-care that's mm -hmm. overflowing, but you cannot give unless your cup is full. And so the most loving thing I could do for you would be to take care of me. Mind blown. Is that mind yeah. blowing? Oh my gosh. Say, yeah. Like, okay, I had so a client say, yesterday. Say it again. I'm gonna say, say it again. Just okay. say it again. Ian LeVan Sant said, what's, what's in, in your cup is for you. Okay. What comes out of the cup is for others. <sighs> I had a client yesterday who I met online and we hopped on a little call and she's like, I, she has a boyfriend of hers that passed away from cancer. Mm. And she said, my whole life I have been the giver and I've been independent and I don't like to ask for help. And I said, when you, and she, she we realized how her self care would be going to the gym. That would be her first step. And I said, if you could link in your brain, look at me, helping others by going to the gym. And she was like, what, <laughs> what? And that's how I've linked it. You've yeah. helped me realize that when you take care of yourself, you actually have a bigger capacity to take care of others. Yeah, I, I know that you guys who know me have always, and you always hey, hear, hear me say, self-care isn't selfish, it's essential. And you can't pour from an empty cup. And the airlines don't lie, put your oxygen mask on first. It's safety precaution. You cannot take care of safety. anyone else. I love it. It's safety, safety precaution. Safety precaution. Safety rule. Like, it's like I a feel preparedness like we should do the kit. safety dance. It's now. a preparedness kit. What the heck is the safety <laughs> dance? Okay, that'll be another. Oh my gosh. I, okay, I don't know what it is, but I want to. Okay, that'll be like the after hours live later. The safety that'll dance. That'll be Friday okay. night. Okay. Tell me if, if you know what the safety dance oh. in, will you please give a thumbs up? Or, oh my gosh. Or whatever. Please. <laughs> Don't leave me hanging here, y'all. 
Yes, it's your toolbox. It's your survival toolbox. You have to do your self-care. And self-care is different for everyone. It's not just a massage and the, you know, manicure and pedicure. As wonderful as those are, it's all the little things that you do throughout the day. And I know one thing you've been working on is taking breaks throughout the day. Yes. And how is that going? Do you feel stressed when you have to get up from your desk and walk away? No. Okay. <gasps> Wait, so what? Pamela, Pamela, you have helped me dial in um, the consistency of doing something that I've wanted to do for a while. So my office is down here at Inspire Reno and we are looking right now, Pamela and I are looking outside my window at the Truckee River. And I realized a couple weeks ago that I have been in this office for like seven months and I didn't, I have never gone down to the river. Okay, I was aghast, not acceptable. <laughs> So I'm this big proponent of taking a break every hour on the hour for my productivity because I'm a productivity coach and here I am like standing up in my office not realizing I could go down to the river. And so I've been practicing going down to the river every 50 minutes saying hello to the river, praying to God and pausing without my telephone, without my phone. And you've been helping me stay accountable on that. And you know what? I, I swear to God, I have been more productive, more joyful, more restored in this last week. I'm gearing up for a family reunion next week, and so I've got a lot to do this week, and I'm just having the greatest time. I love it. And and I'm not doing everything like I said I was going to, no. you guys. So I had all these goals that I told you last <laughs> week, and I haven't done some of them. No. And you know what? That's okay. Yeah. And I'm a high performer, and so are you. And But you know what? We need accountability, and we need... We're not perfect. And it's and you said, what's the next little step I could take? Mm -hmm. Right? What's the next little pivot? Baby and steps. I need to hear that. Baby steps. Because I like to climb the mountain all at once. And you can't <laughs> climb the mountain all at once. I unless like you to, take a step. I like step, to imagine step, I can, step, Pamela. Step. You but you're visualize right. the mountain. I guess that's what I do. I'm yeah. I'm learning I'm so visual and I must just Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So See? one step at a time. Five minutes a day. Start with that, five minutes. So you mentioned something really interesting and I would love to tell you all how Pamela like rocked my world a couple weeks ago. So mm -hmm. as a high performer, you started with, you know, can you be too successful to not need self-care? One of the things you asked me is, one of the things I said is I'm really poor at kind of noticing my successes. Mm -hmm. I just do, do, do. I'm just a do, do, doer. Like, do, do, do. That could be a song. Do, 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 do. We'll do the do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Oh my God. Do, do, do. Do, do, I could do, do all day long. I just said do, do. So. Oh, my boys would be happy. If they watched a Facebook Live. Right. Right. One of the things you said is it's very hard to notice your success without documentation. So write that down, you guys. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't document anything. I just do. And so I'm learning, and I'm not very successful yet. This is a habit that I have mm -hmm. not established. I'm learning the power of documentation. So yes. thank you for that. Yeah. And documentation can mean a note in your phone. It can mean writing it on a little post-it sticky. It can be a journal that you dedicate just to that. But you can't celebrate your wins and acknowledge them if you don't document them. It seems so simple, my mind was blown. <laughs> and I know the science of assessment and documentation and we call it reactivity and I wasn't doing any of it. Yeah. So one more question for you. So you know the power of a coach. You have many coaches yourself. Why did you need a self-care coach? I did not think I needed a self-care coach. And then I realized after going to your event and after, you know, not working with some other coaches, just at my time it ended with them, I realized like we're up to great things in the world here. I want someone for me, someone for me that's going to keep me accountable and be on my, you know, be my cheerleader. We never outgrow needing a cheerleader, you guys. You can be at the top of your game and you still need a cheerleader. Tiger Woods has a coach 
for every single swing. Is that what it's called in? Mm. Yeah. Every mm -hmm. single swing, he has a he has a different coach to take one point off of his game. He hired a coach. Like, I had one client say to me once, uh, prospective client say, like, why would you need a coach? You're awesome, Doctor Aaron. I'm like, how do you think I became awesome? Like, <laughs> right. are you kidding? Yeah. Like, not to put that person down. It just was like, oh, okay, some people think like this. Of course we need a coach. Yes. So one thing that I've learned about high performance too is it is social. And what that means mm -hmm. is, I think that's so fascinating. Mm -hmm. We don't, we're not successful alone. Alone, right? It's, it's that, what's that saying? If you want to go fast, go by yourself. If you want to go far, go with others. Ooh, I mean, it's so true. I need a self-care coach to help me keep on track, but also to get out of my yes. own way, right? Absolutely. It's never, I talked to someone yesterday, she's like, but isn't that weakness? I'm like, no, no. it's absolute ask, strength. Asking, asking for help takes courage and strength. It does. Totally, and I know all about asking for help. Me too. Yeah. I I'm, used to be poor at it. I'm good at that. But now I'm good at it. <laughs> I have, your ability to receive will be your level of success. Mm -hmm. So I've learned that recently too. Mm -hmm. So um, the day of my event, I didn't know I needed Pamela, but things um, were really kind of frazzled for me in the morning. There was 150 people coming and she saw me and you came to me and said, can I help you today? Mm -hmm. And you helped guide me. She was like my personal assistant at, yeah. at a wedding. She was like my personal attendant. Pamela, I Aww. cannot tell you what that did for me. And she's going on the road with me every single event from now on. It's not about like, I can't handle this on my own. It's about, I will be better yes. if I have you. Because you were able to serve those 150 people fully because you were completely full yourself. This is Your what she's teaching me. We're taken care of first, which is not selfish. It's not selfish to take care of you because it's so full. if you're not 100%, how can you give 100% to the people that you want to give 100% to? You can't. It was so fascinating because after I came out of the hallway, we, we went to a little back back of the hallway, had a little talky talk, a little, I, lit, I literally after that went up to someone and they said, your energy's different, Erin. Yeah. And I was like, huh, huh. Cause we built it works. Up. We built, built me up. up. So. Yeah. So that was you at your event. And then you mentioned that you came to my event. Um, can you tell us one thing that has changed in your life from coming to my event? Yes. I am aware, my friends, I'm aware of self-care. That is a rhyme, but <laughs> be aware of your self-care. Hashtag be aware of self-care. Uh -huh. The power of awareness for me and most humans, right, mm -hmm. is everything. everything. And I also am a big fan of even if it's working, figuring out what's working and keeping it going. Mm -hmm. So I know if I have something dialed in in my life, I might even hire a coach to help me keep it dialed in. Like that's a fascinating concept. Yeah. So I didn't hire you because I was failing. I hired you because I was doing well in some areas and I wanted to keep it going and I want to learn. She probably has some other things up her sleeve, <laughs> right? You're the expert and she does. And so you don't have to hire a coach because you suck. <laughs> you know, you can hire a coach. Well, no, I mean, the, 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 the next Olympics, level, right? The World Cup, right. right? We just had the World Cup. You think France just hired a coach? No. How many years have they been practicing and doing the same drill over and over and over and watching video and assessing and going over every possible scenario and play in their head. And that coach is there to encourage, to guide them, to pick them up, to say, Hey, let's try this something new or Hey, you know, go run a couple laps. You're late. Yeah. You are like <laughs> the pivot, you know, the power of the pivot and it's little tiny pivots. They aren't huge. Like, like we were talking about, they're just little tiny pivots. Like I didn't even think about that. I could go to the river every day. Yeah. Okay. Here I yeah. go. And again, these simple things are not simply executed sometimes. No, so it's, it's the self care is the biggest impact that self care has is in the little things. Mm, really? Yes. Because it's the consistency. Like you talked about earlier, 
It's those consistent things. And we can't be consistent with a day at the spa. We can't be uh. consistent with the big things all the time, but we can be consistent with every couple hours, you take five minutes and you go down to the river. We can be consistent with scheduling in two minutes on your phone to close your eyes and take some deep breaths. She taught me that yesterday. Okay, we can't stay on this live forever. I know. But, but literally, <laughs> I have had a resistance to meditation and I know the science of meditation and I meditated yesterday. Woo! I am officially a meditator. Because <laughs> she told me to set my phone for two minutes. You guys, I was mad when in two minutes was up. I didn't want it to end. I was like, that was not long enough. I want more. So we shall see. Yeah. Awesome. I'm a meditator, <laughs> Woo. Cool. which just meant listening to my breath for two yeah. minutes. So I have always it, it thought it's this It doesn't thing. mean that like, um, you if, could do if that. You, you do could that, do that, um, you can, you could do whatever, you know, Yeah. I literally just paused and listened to my breath for two minutes here in, on my couch right here. And it was great. Yay. Beautiful. Okay. So. Tell, tell them about your event. Yeah, I'm so excited about my event. I have an event coming up August 24th at the Whitney Peak Hotel. Um, and I want you guys all to be there to experience what Dr. Aaron experienced and more. So I'm going to drop the link in the comments below. You can give me a, I don't know, not the child emoji, but whoop, the whoop. hands up. Yeah, the hands up emoji. Um, if you want to know more, if you want to register because it's gonna be awesome. It's the best one yet. It keeps getting better and better and better and better. Go figure. Yeah. Um, Cause I keep pouring into myself too, so that you're not getting my leftovers, you're getting what I don't need because I am so full, I have so much to oh. give you. I would take your leftovers, but that sounds really good. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. You guys go oh. go to this event. So yeah. Ask me questions if you have questions about yeah. it, but you're like bathed in like, goodness for the day it's i can't i can't yummy. describe it's I'll yummy i give you like it this is yummy little heart virtual totally and yummy. physical hug um, i just love that you know yeah. that that's your gift yeah well i love that <laughs> you guys thanks for joining us yeah thank you guys you look really pretty in this light thank you mm -hmm. i think it's the hollywood mirror it's your thingy, lip your lipstick thing. looks amazing yeah. mm -hmm. bye everybody bye remember self-care isn't selfish it's, it's essential. essential all right take care